The SC GT really represents the last of the GT program for the 356 model. In today's world, where we're so focused on our GT2 RSs, this is really uh, somewhat of the grandfather of the GT program. Taking production cars and making them somewhat homologation, special cars, uh, built for competition and accessible to the general public. We just finished driving, uh, quality control driving, the SC GT that's behind me. And it's getting ready to ship out to its new home. And what a special experience to get to drive. One of the last iterations of the GT program and really the lightweight program for Porsche 356. This really is the culmination of 15 years of development of the 356 into this final uh, version of the GTs, which started in program 57 and then in 58 when they started to incorporate the lightweight aluminum panels on these cars, uh, starting with the T2 cars, 356, and then the final iteration with the T6. And this is literally one of six examples ever made. Uh, these were not made in sequential VIN, like the earlier GT models, Super 90, the first push rod GT version. Uh, well, actually going back to 58, when they made the 1600 Super push rod speedsters, and then the Super 90 GT coupes and then obviously the T6 program with the Carrera 2 GTs, another very special iteration of the GT cars. This was such a special experience today. Bruce Anderson, who was the second owner of this car, who bought it from the original owner in 1965, he did so much with this car and he did so much for the Porsche community. He was enigmatic, he was a wonderful guy. You would often see him on a concourse field and his uh, kind of famous suspenders and he was certainly one of my mentors and took me under his wing. Getting back to the car though, he bought this car, he did over 200 auto crosses in this car and was successful in competition and then decided that he wanted to try a new competition which was Concours Restoration. In 1969 he did a full rear metal restoration on this car and in 1971 he took the car to Pebble Beach where in effect he was able to place uh, first in class. In the previous year, 1970, he had done third in class, but he won a number of Porsche Parade divisions as well as national shows and uh, local shows with this car. So it's a really special story to have this car here, for it to go to its new home, for us to have been a part of it, but it's just a, a great story on a rare model and it's significant in the Porsche GT legacy uh, from the new cars back to the old cars.